video I have discussed about what are the different topics I have to stress for my board examination in organic chemistry. So today we will be starting with our haloalkanes and haloarenes chapter which is the first unit of CBSE grade 12 examination or grade 12 syllabus. So let us first write the chapter name that is haloalkanes and haloarenes. Right. So when I speak about haloalkanes, haloarenes chapter, I have to first know what is the subtopic or what are the subtopics which is prescribed for my syllabus so that I keep ticking before the board examinations and understanding whether I have done that particular topic or not. So every chapter, let us see, let us speak about haloalkanes, let us speak about alcohols, let us speak about aldehydes or let us speak about amines. Basically, board wants us to know about the nature of this particular haloalkanes, haloarenes. They want us to learn or the nomenclature of these compounds. How should I name the compound in terms of common system or common name? How should I know, name it based on the common nomenclature or IUPAC nomenclature or IUPAC naming? I should know thus for all the four chapters prescribed. After nature, nomenclature, I should have a clear idea of what are the physical properties of these particular compounds. I should also stress on the topic called chemical properties which carry or they form the major part of the chapter. I have to learn the preparations. How we, how are these prepared from the previous chapter or previous compounds? How, how can I learn? Basically when I said in my previous video, most of the conversions can be learned from this topic and this topic. But you are very keen when learning these two topics for your examination. After physical chemical properties, if I speak, there is a small like rather included in your chemical properties, those are called as nature reactions every chapter has these name reactions you have to be very clean or clear about studying the name reactions when I speak about after the name reactions when I further continue I have to be very clear as I said conversions in this chapter every chapter again has 15 to 20 conversions which have to be very clear along with the reagents after learning the preparations physical properties chemical properties name reactions and conversions I have to end or complete my chapter by learning applications of these compounds where you know applications will be basically one or two one mark rather let us not miss that one mark also so applications so every chapter would include these my lectures when I start my lectures every question or every lecture basically has a question I am going to mention specifically every topic of this chapter there will be a question which is raised after this question raised I am going to show you how to write the answer for this particular question for both ultimately whatever we study our basics should be clear I should be able to write the board examination properly I have to understand the question what CBS is going to ask me or the board is going to question me I should also know what sort of answer should I write so in my lectures when I want to start suppose let me say if I want to start taking a concept nature I am going to give you what sort of questions are going to be given in your boats based on the nature so let us meet in the next video you're going to see we are going to discuss about every topic and every related question every related answer students remember when I write a question in the board try to note that question carefully note the answer which should be written follow the pattern when you follow a pattern in answering it is easy for you to complete that 70 marks paper in your three hours instead of writing long lectures on particular answer let us be precise in the answer and clear cut uh, written part like if I give a clear answer to the examiner it's easy for them to correct as well as your it's 100% sure you're going to get the marks thank you so much for watching So, 
welcome students to one more session of your uh, as i already said we have started with the concept of conformation isomers so it's a part of your general organic chemistry one so i've already completed structural as well as tu isomers in that uh, one part that is optical isomerism is completed now i'm doing with the conformation isomers yeah. so i've in the previous video i've given the introduction of ball and stick model of ethane then i've taught you what are the two types that is your sawhorse as well as Newman projection and I also said staggered and eclipsed the staggered and eclipsed are represented in this form right yeah. now in this video please watch the previous video as I said because connectivity will be not there yeah. so in Sohar's projection of ethane first important thing you have to remember what did we say Sohar's as well as Newman we are going to represent in which one staggered and eclipsed yeah. so in Sohar's you have to remember that the molecule here in this case is viewed along the molecular axis you have to view the molecule along the axis i'll be drawing that let's see that so remember this point this molecule is viewed along the molecular axis like in this direction let us draw that and see right very careful you have to be very careful while observing the molecule right now so first is we are going to show it in terms of eclipsed and we'll be showing it in the form of staggered so very carefully you have to draw this done yes c2h6 isn't it now this is one point of carbon this is one more point of carbon let us join that exactly hydrogen here you should hold your pen one hydrogen one more hydrogen so one hydrogen here one more hydrogen so this is 120 degrees that is where which we have and this carbon one more hydrogen is here one hydrogen here one hydrogen is placed here this is the eclipsed form of now when I have to draw the staggered form, observe carefully. This is one carbon. This is also one carbon. Yes. Here, there is a spacing. Further, if I see this, this is more and more space. Let me see this, show you. So this hydrogen and staggered is placed here. One more hydrogen here. Okay, I have drawn it here wrong. Please strike this off. Here, I should maintain that please. This is not the hydrogen place, right? I'm sorry for this. At this, exactly, hydrogen is placed here. Hydrogen, one more hydrogen is here. Are you able to find the difference? So, this is the eclipsed form, this is the staggered form where all the hydrogens are spaced, right? This is the Sawhorse projection explanation. Now, let us come back and see. The Newman projection part of this. So when I have to draw the Newman projection, what is the important thing which you have to remember? Let us first learn. So in Newman projection of ethane, Newman projection. So this particular thing, in this way of drawing, you know, when whenever somebody is asking you to draw a Newman projection, here as I said, there you are going to look at the molecule along the axis, but here you are going to draw uh, or you are going to observe the molecule straight down the bond i'll be showing that you have to look straight so how should you look you have to look as if it is connecting two carbon atoms so such that you know carbon carbon bond it, it means it is only in one direction let me show i'll draw the diagram so this is your i right now you you're looking at carbon this is hydrogen hydrogen carbon this is the front carbon this carbon is connected to one more carbon isn't it hydrogen hydrogen this is hydrogen this is your rare carbon at front carbon atom and rare carbon atom so as i said how are we going to look here here we are going to draw the molecule and you're going to look at the molecule how 
in a straight like like this straight in such a way that both the carbons carbon and carbon they appear to be head on isn't it and that is that is the way you observe in human projection so this particular human projection uh, as the same thing friend carbon rare carbon i'll be showing you in the form of let's see this how are we going to draw the same thing i have this carbon atom okay done so first one this is a front carbon which i am taking okay means the front part which we have taken here see here we have written here isn't it this part i have taken those are the three hydrogens so name the hydrogens hydrogen 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 now there is one more uh, uh, carbon isn't it that is a rare carbon which is there so let us write this as first this is a front carbon atom then now i'm going to take the rare carbon atom so the rare carbon you are looking like this isn't it straight like this so, so this is a front carbon this is a rare carbon so for them the hydrogens are drawn here one more hydrogen is drawn here one more hydrogen is drawn here so this is a rare carbon atom rare carbon atom right so this particular thing this particular confirmation is called eclipsed confirmation eclipsed confirmation now let me draw the staggered confirmation of this staggered confirmation how does this look right so carbon this is a front carbon hydrogen 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 then equally spaced the in staggered one more hydrogen one more hydrogen exactly perfectly so this is hydrogen this one here the angle of rotation or the angle of torsion or the there's something called dihedral angle what is that that's an angle between two hydrogens so this part this part we call it as dihedral angle dihedral angle or we call it as angle of rotation or we call it as angle of torsion rotation or angle of torsion done so now we are going to see the relative stability of both staggered as well as eclipsed. Let us see the relative stability in both the cases. Let us see which is more stable. So let us write the heading as relative stability among both. So here we will make one line for staggered and then we will make one line for eclipsed. So we have seen both the structures, isn't it? Let us make one line. Okay, this is not straight, vague. Okay, not a problem. First concept is important. So when I take the staggered form of confirmation, here this is a staggered form. What is happening here? Carbon and hydrogen. Bonds are separated, isn't it? You are able to see this equally spaced in staggered. But in eclipsed, what is happening? In eclipsed, the electron clouds of carbon and hydrogen, you know, they are very close because when it is closed what will happen it results in electron cloud repulsion correct let us first write in staggered electron cloud in carbon and hydrogen bonds are separated as far as possible separated as far as possible isn't it done right so when i have to speak about eclipsed I told you the very close is when I see the structure the very close isn't it yes let us write that in case of eclipsed the electron clouds let us put this capital E right here in eclipsed confirmation electron clouds of carbon and hydrogen bonds they come closer isn't it they come closer see here as we have seen in eclipsed they are very closer 
come closer what will happen because of this resulting in increase of electron cloud repulsion electron cloud repulsion done yes let us see the next point because they are equally spaced repulsion repulsive forces are minimum isn't it so minimum repulsion minimum energy hence maximum stability so what is the uh, important concept staggered is more stable than eclipsed let us come back to this now we said there is already repulsion existing in the molecule right so what will happen more repulsions more energy hence minimum stability minimum stability done understood uh, students so important staggered conformation is more stable than eclipsed conformation let us write that in a box so in terms of stability staggered is greater stability is, is greater stability than compared to eclipsed form done yes so this is what is a sawhorse as well as uh, newman projection in which terms have we studied we have studied in terms of eclipse and staggered both the confirmations we have studied right i'll meet you again in my next video with the concept of torsional strain thank you for watching students So welcome students back to one more session of your general organic chemistry. So I've taught you different types of isomerism, isn't it? That is your structural, I've taught you, I've taught you uh, the complete chain isomerism, positional, uh, functional, all the type metamerism, tautomerism. Then I've also taken you into a concept of stereo isomerism, where I've taught you about optical isomerism till the last video. In that I've taught you what is optical activity, what is specific rotation, what are the enantiomers what are diastereomers the differences between diastereomers and enantiomers i've also taught you how what is dln nomenclature as well as rns nomenclature done right now we'll be coming back to the last type of isomerism that is conformational isomerism done so when i have to speak about conformational isomerism basically we speak or this particular topic we'll see what is what are conformational isomers or rotamers why do actually they show conformational isomers everything in detail so first of all this concept of conformational isomerism started with the alkene alkenes why alkenes first important thing as we know are or they contain carbon single bond carbon right so what is this this is a sigma bond which is present this is where is the whole concept which lies around this right now because of this c single bond c right right these alkenes they rotate means they show rotation around this single bond the single bond because of this rotation they're going to show infinite number of conformations right right that is what i said alkenes contain carbon single bond single uh, carbon single bond carbon right now just now i said due to rotation this is where is the main word due to rotation around carbon single bond carbon carbon single bond i'm writing that they can they show infinite number of conformations infinite number of conformations okay now what are conformations that is what we have to be clear let us define conformations so let us question ourselves what are conformations right what are conformations right so if your teacher is asking you define conformations just write they represent conformers which are rapidly interconvertible and non-separable uh, okay right let us first write and see an example with that conformations are they represent i'm giving the definition first conformers which are rapidly 
interconvertible inter convertible and non separable i can convert it rapidly and i can separate them they i can separate them so such isomers are called as conformational isomers conformational isomers they are also called in some they will be also calling it as rotamers rotamers okay so now what are these conformations we will see taking different examples of ethene propane cycloalkene like that that right. so however when we speak about the rotation around carbon carbon single bond that it is not completely free why it is not completely free because a small energy barrier always exists between them how much energy barrier almost uh, very less basically 20 kJ per mole of energy barrier is existing that rotation is it restricted to that so why because of the weak repulsive interactions so there are two adjacent bonds isn't it carbon carbon bonds because of the uh, repulsive interaction that little difference is always there so such repulsive interaction is called torsional strain i am introducing one more word here torsional strain so let us write whatever we have just spoken i said however i am just giving notes notes wise so that you can note it in your book however rotation around carbon carbon this yes, carbon single bond is not completely free is not completely free why because it is hindered hindered means stopped or restricted by how much amount of energy by a small energy barrier this is by a small energy barrier of 1 to 20 kJ per mole 1 to 20 kJ per mole why is this energy barrier observed due to weak repulsive forces weak repulsive forces repulsive forces of interaction right where is this interaction happening i said carbon carbon single bond isn't it right between adjacent bonds very weak they are basically between carbon carbon adjacent bonds done now because of this repulsive forces or because of this repulsive interaction the certain amount of strain which is created in this molecule right right let us write that word due to such type of repulsive interaction repulsive interaction there is certain amount of strain which is created in a molecule that strain is called torsional strain torsional strain remember this word right so i have taught you what is meant by uh, conformational isomers and i also taught you rotamers and i also said what is the meaning of this strain i told you, you know the restricted part or because of this repulsive interaction there will be little amount of energy difference between them that is 20 kJ per mole so that particular thing is torsion strain now we'll apply this all this concept taking an example of conformation of ethenes right let us write the heading now conformation so ethene now i said isn't it because of the carbon carbon single bond it uh, the molecule it starts rotating when it is rotating it's going to show us different types of conformers when means we'll be studying the saw horse conform conformations you know newman projection eclipse all this very soon right so when i speak about conformations of ethene first of all ethene molecular form is c2h6 now <clears throat> first we'll let us write the molecular orbital diagram for that now carbon is here there is one more carbon this carbon this this sp3 hybridized lobe forms a sigma bond one hydrogen six hydrogens isn't it one here two this is at the back end one more hydrogen here one more I'm not drawing it neatly but not a problem yes hydrogen here so both are this is sp3 hybridization this is sp3 hybridization so here this is a sigma bond so how is this sigma bond form sigma bond is formed due to which overlap due to linear overlap isn't it due to linear overlap okay done now what happens 
this particular thing suppose if it rotates but always remember not this will not rotate this only will move but though it rotates this overlap is maintained even even if these are rotated this overlap is maintained right let me rotate and show you see here carbon this is also carbon sp3 hybridized this is sp3 hybridized both are intact only are you able to see now i'm rotating the molecule like this see here this hydrogen comes here this hydrogen this is one more hydrogen hydrogen here this hydrogen is here one more hydrogen are you not finding the rotation of the molecule yes it has rotated but what is intact overlap remains intact you have to remember that overlap is maintained even by rotation okay even when i'm rotating the overlap remains intact right then yes so this particular uh, rotation concept after learning this certain there are certain uh, you know confirmations which were given for et the first one is the ball and stick model of et okay right let's see that so considering the rotation concept <clears throat> first we're going to learn ball and stick model of ethane okay model stick a model of ethane ethane molecule done right so here one carbon atom important remember understand this here in ball and stick model one carbon atom is kept stationary we're going to fix one carbon atom stationary and we are going to rotate other carbon atom is rotated around the axis right only one will be kept straight let me show you with an example and uh, see right ethane molecule isn't it c2h6 so this is carbon let us zoom in the form of a ball i'm just showing it uh, in this on this page okay hydrogen this is one hydrogen this carbon is linked by sigma bond with one more carbon isn't it yes so this hydrogen is here okay this is already linked like this isn't it c2h6 so one more hydrogen this is hydrogen done so what are we going to do we are going to place one of the carbon atoms stationary we will not rotate this we will be rotating only this so when you're holding this and you're rotating this shifts in this direction this hydrogen shifts here and this hydrogen shifts here so what are we doing we are rotating it let us right rotate after rotating how does this molecule look like just see this carbon is here only let us draw that carbon this hydrogen also is here let us draw that hydrogen this hydrogen also is here let us draw that hydrogen done now this hydrogen is again here we have shifted so that hydrogen which we have rotated means not this one i should write so basically if i am rotating i think okay let me put this one this one this this is the hydrogen which i am rotating holding like this one hydrogen comes here one more hydrogen is here this is rotated isn't it from here it has gone little bit above so this is how it rotates so there are infinite number of confirmations of et infinite number because rotation like in this way in this different different rotations we can show but among the infinite number of rotations only you know if i have to speak only two extreme cases means those are out of so many confirmations two productive or two uh, extreme means perfect confirmations which we are going to learn that is there for your 11th uh, syllabus also right that is eclipsed form of confirmation and second is staggered form of confirmation eclipsed form staggered form so how are we going to represent this eclipsed form and staggered form we are going to represent eclipsed form or staggered uh, staggered form of confirmation by sawhorse and newman projection formulas that is what we'll be showing you so eclipsed and staggered how are they represented let us write that they are represented by as i said sawhorse projection sawhorse formula and new men projection both the things will be i'll be representing these forms in this new men projection the other one there is one intermediate form okay there is an intermediate form of the confirmation 
that is called sku right fine for such confirmations important thing you have to remember bond angle and bond length both will remain same for sku remain same done yes students so this is the basic idea of the confirmations of ethene now i'll be teaching you in my next video the saw hots as i said told you saw hots and newman projection then i'll be also be teaching about sku uh, projections of the intermediate confirmations of ethene thank you for watching stay stay tuned stay connected so welcome students to one more session of your general organic chemistry so we have done in the previous video the conformers of ethene i have clearly explained the different concepts like your uh, uh, sawhorse projection from uh, this in representation newman projection representation then i have taught you what are school conformations i have also given you the information based on uh, based on dihedral angle i have given you information based on torsional strain torsional energy di i mean uh, why what is that energy when are we using that and i also given you the order of staggered conformation that what of stability of staggered conformation newman projection conformation as well as sku conformation we also said among all the three staggered is the most stable least stable is eclipsed form because atoms are very close by done when today we will be learning about conformations of propane and conformations of butane done yes so here i'll be drawing the newman projection conformations newman projection conformations for propane so when we when we see newman proje projections i think you would have clearly understood how we will represent right i'll be drawing the eclipsed form for that and i'll be also drawing the staggered form for this done so in the newman projection eclipsed form right so both you have to show this right so we said there are two front carbon atom and the rear carbon atom correct right so this is propane molecule so first ch3 is here hydrogen hydrogen now at the rear carbon this hydrogen very close by in eclipse they will be close by you have to remember that hydrogen in staggered they are equally spaced ch3 hydrogen hydrogen this is the hydrogen one more hydrogen that's it simple is it so rotation where does it happen it happens between c1 and c2 carbons so let us write that rotation around c1 and c2 done fine so now we'll be learning the conformers of butene right students i told you i'll be showing the conformers of butene i'll be showing the conformers of cycloalkanes also right so now let us come back and write the heading conformers of butene so four carbon atom isn't it butene is a four carbon alkane so let us write so here again i'll be showing newman projection only let us write that newman projections done so in case of butene so as i said four carbon atom how should we start first newman means you have to show this then yeah okay right. so the first friend ch3 h and h now when i draw the rare carbon atom ch3 hydrogen hydrogen now this is which one this is the first one let us name this fully eclipsed fully eclipsed form now we are going to do or show 60 degree rotation but which one between c2 and c3 rotations between c2 and c3 
let us write that rotation between c2 and c3 in the earlier one it was between as we have done c1 and c2 now c2 and c3 when it is rotating how does this look CH3, oh, CH60 degree, okay, first this hydrogen I have to write, one more hydrogen, one more hydrogen. So this is the second part, this is called gauch or gauchi, some say gauch, gauchi, gauch, yes. Now the same, this one, I am going to rotate it to 60 degree again. How does this look? This is rotated to 60 degree. You're rotating it like this. So you're right. So first here hydrogen comes here because you're rotating this part, isn't it? Like this. So this hydrogen comes here. And the CH3 group comes here. One more hydrogen here. So yeah, this part is over, isn't it? Now we have rotated like this. H the CH3 has come here. H. We still have the second uh, uh, carbon so one more CH3 comes here so one more H here one more H hope this is clear students see here we have rotated this part has come here in this way this also has moved down this also has moved down here so the leftover is here so this is third we call this as partially eclipsed partially eclipsed Further, I am rotating to 60 degree. Now, this looks hydrogen, hydrogen, CH3. Further, I am rotating. CH3 is here. Hydrogen is here. Hydrogen. Hope you are understanding students. I am not really sure it here. Just uh, analyze. Imagine it. So, this is the fourth one. We call it as anti staggered. Anti. So, again, staggered. Anti form, but it is staggered because equally spaced. Now, I'm taking going to take this and rotate it to further 60 degree. Okay. I'll further rotate it to 60 degree. How does this look like? This looks like hydrogen. Hydrogen, hydrogen, CH3, hydrogen, and CH3. This is the fifth one. This is called partially eclipsed. Further, we will rotate this to 60 degree. Finally, we get... Okay, I think uh, this is wrong. Okay, I'm striking this off. I'm sorry for this. Let us draw it properly. I'm sorry for this. Okay, I'm rotating further 60 degrees, isn't it? It has to come like this. Yeah, this is right. Please cross this. This is right. CH3, H, CH3, CH3, H, H. This is the sixth one. This is again called gauchi or gauche form. Some say gauchi, one say gauche form that way. Right? Right, students? Right. Now let us write the stability order for this. Stability order. Right? For the stability order, see, one is less stable than three. 3 is less stable, okay, not less stable, it is almost equal. 3 is in equal stability with 5. 5 is less stable than 6, no, not 6, I think, yeah, 5 is less stable than 2. Then 2 is almost equal to 6 less than 4. Let us write what we, what we have written. Let us see once again. We said the first one is less stable than 3. Okay, what is that? Fully eclipsed. 
eclipsed is less stable than 3 that is partially eclipsed which is almost equal to the fifth one that is partially eclipsed right which is less than Gauchy which is approximately equal to 6 because both are 6 forms and which is less than 4 that is anti that is nothing but staggered form that is nothing but staggered so hope students it is clear staggered is equally spaced fully eclipsed there's a lot of torsional strain that is why it is less stable so these are the confirmations of uh, butene i'll meet you again in the next video with the confirmations of cycloalkane right so we will also uh, draw the uh, order of stability for, uh, for different cyclo compounds in terms of chair form and boat form. Thank you for watching students. Stay connected. Stay tuned.